Hello, this is the first video in my Windows 10 Universal App Development series. Over the course of the next few videos, I'm going to be taking a look at how we can develop apps for Windows 10 using Visual Studio. These apps will run on a variety of Windows 10 platforms, such as desktops, laptops, tablets, um, Windows 10 smartphones, you name it, just about anything. Really, really great platform, very exciting, uh, great for the Windows community and those who just really want to have a play around with a new cutting edge platform from Microsoft. The last time I created an app for Windows 10, I actually used Visual Studio 2015. Since then though, Visual Studio 2017 has come out, came out a few weeks ago at the time of recording this video. So definitely head over to visualstudio.com for stroke downloads. And I'm going to be using Visual Studio 2017 community because it has all of the features that I need. Professional and enterprise are really good. You have to buy those though, and um, they don't really have any features that I can take advantage of. But certainly feel free to read up about why you might want to use professional or enterprise and make a choice based on what you need. But community have everything I'm after, so I'm going to click on the free download. And then it downloads one very small exe file to your computer, uh, which just takes a couple of seconds to download. And then if you minimize your web browser or whatever, and then run the setup file, uh, we can begin. So basically the setup file for Visual Studio 2017 community is a web-based installer. So you download a small EXE like we've just done, and then it downloads the rest of the software and all of the packages and everything it needs from the internet. Just takes a couple of seconds to get going, and then uh, we'll be able to start installing our Visual Studio 2017. All very exciting stuff. So when setup loads, you'll see something that looks a little bit like this. Basically, we're presented with a screen of workloads, and these are various things that we can install. Now, for this series where we're developing universal Windows platform apps, we just need to make sure that we've definitely got that selected. And I'd also recommend having the .NET desktop development apps selected as well, because then you can create Windows Forms apps like we used to do in old versions of Visual Studio, such as maybe 2013, 2010, 2008, and so on. So I'd recommend you have that selected really here just go through and see what kind of things you want so if you're interested in creating office and sharepoint apps then that would be a good option to install if you're interested in doing mobile development with dotnet using xamarin uh, for ios android and windows you can install that but that will make the installation much bigger at the moment my install is 11 gigabytes if i stick xamarin on it it goes up to 39 gigabytes so it's a very big installation if you use xamarin great product though if you're into Linux, you can even use that. Um, so really, just go through and select all the various things that you want to install. Remember that you can actually add files to your Visual Studio installation. You can add features uh, by going into Programs and Features in Control Panel, launching Visual Studio 2017 setup. Uh, it might ask if you want to repair, uninstall or add features. Select Add Features and then you can be brought back to the screen where you can add more features. Go over to the individual component apps page and we can see exactly what's going to be installed. And then once you've made sure that you're definitely connected to the internet so that everything can download, just click install here. And that's it. We've just started our Visual Studio 2017 installation progress. So uh, thank you for watching the video. And when it's all downloaded and installed, you have Visual Studio 2017. You're ready to start making apps.